Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we're diving into the world of keyboards, those magical rectangles that let us express ourselves digitally. But have you ever stopped to ponder, why aren't the letters in alphabetical order? It's a question that might have crossed your mind once or twice. The answer lies in the QWERTY layout, named after the first six letters on the top row. It might seem like a random jumble, but there's actually a fascinating history behind it. Way back in the 1800s, when typewriters were first invented, they had a nasty habit of jamming. Picture this, you're typing away, the rhythm of the keys beneath your fingers like a well-oiled machine. And then, clunk, the keys stick, the rhythm is broken, and you're left with a jumbled mess of ink on paper. Frustrating, right? Why did this happen? Well, it's because the keys were arranged alphabetically, and common letter combinations like the would hit the arms too close together. Enter Christopher Scholes. This clever chap realized that the alphabetical arrangement was causing the mayhem. So what did he do? He played a game of mix and match with the keys, moving the most frequently used letters apart from each other. It was a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, but the result wasn't a pretty picture. Instead, it was a more efficient keyboard layout. So, he rearranged the keys to spread out frequently used letters. This might seem counterintuitive, but it actually helped prevent jams and allowed typists to type faster. But wait, there's more! The QWERTY layout also encourages alternating hand use. You see, it's not just about preventing those pesky jams. The layout's real genius lies in its rhythmic flow. The keys are arranged in such a way that commonly paired letters often fall on opposite sides of the keyboard. This means that while one hand is busy striking a key, the other hand is free to move to its next target. So while one hand types a letter, the other can move to the next key, creating a smoother rhythm. Believe it or not, QWERTY isn't the only keyboard layout out there. It's just one of many, each with its own unique design and purpose. For instance, the Dvorak layout, named after its creator, Dr. August Dvorak, places the most commonly used keys under the strongest fingers, aiming to reduce finger movement and increase typing speed. Then we have the Azerti layout, predominantly used in France, which rearranges the letter keys to accommodate the peculiarities of the French language. There's Dvorak, which some claim is even faster. So next time you sit down to type, take a moment to appreciate the clever design of your keyboard. The QWERTY layout is not a random jumble of letters, but an ingenious solution to a 19th century problem. It's a testament to the power of innovation, turning an obstacle into an opportunity for efficiency. And remember, there's a whole world of keyboard layouts out there waiting to be explored. It might not look like an alphabet soup, but it's a product of history and innovation, all to help us communicate faster and more efficiently.